Gwen from GwenSnest.com and I wanted to, um, I'm reviewing the Blendtec Blender and I thought it would be really helpful if you're considering one to see it in action and to see why I feel like it's a really good investment as a piece of kitchen equipment, more like um, a stove or um, I think of it more of a kitchen power tool than a regular you know, $30 blender. It does a completely different job. Um, I wanted to start out by showing you the uh, interactive keyboard, which is pretty cool. It's one of the things I love about the Blendtec. The whole blender is super sleek, so it's really easy to keep clean. There's no cracks and crevices. And the keypad, which I'll turn it on, make, make it a little easier for you to see. The keypad is super sleek. There's no buttons. Um, it's, you know, you just wipe it down, which is great. If you have multiple users that might be teens, it's really easy to keep clean, and I love that about it. So, you can see on the keyboard, there are uh, four different pre-programmed settings, and this is the Blendtec Designer 625. Uh, this setting is the one I use the most. It's for, like, smoothies and um, iced coffee and blended drinks. And what this does is all you do is you just hit the button, and it just goes. It just It's like magic. You just put your ingredients in and hit any one of these pre-programmed settings. This is ice cream. for. Um, it actually makes ice cream. This is a hot soup button, which I think is so cool. You can make heated soup because the motor is so powerful, I can actually heat things to the perfect serving temperature while you blend it. Um, this end one is the hot soup. This one here is a whole juice button um, program, which I haven't used yet, but uh, we're going to play today by um, actually making some of the um, a green smoothie in it together. And this button here is a pulse button, and then this bar lets you set the um, how powerful the motor is going to run. So you can actually do custom features, you know, custom recipes. You don't have to use their pre-programmed, but it's just so nice to be able to push a button and walk away and come back to a finished product. So I thought that was pretty fun. The other thing that was really different to me about the Blendtec, it's just, it's large, but it's small enough to fit underneath the counter, and you have this nice big container. And another thing that stood out to me, which I was very skeptical about at first, is that the blades are not sharp at all. Can you see that? They're not sharp. I thought, how in the world can it blend if the blades aren't sharp? Well, it's power. Um, it's got a three horsepower uh, motor, so that's it really does pulverize everything and make it nice and frothy and creamy and beautiful. So, And the lid is a, like a rubbery style lid, and this center part kind of pops out pretty easily, so you can add uh, ingredients as you go. If you wanted to add like chocolate chips last and you still want some chunks, that's a great spot to do it. So it comes on and off really easily on the machine. So I really enjoy using mine. All right, so I thought we could make a smoothie together. So um, I love, they send you uh, a recipe book of how to use your Blendtec. And um, I learned a lot about blending from the recipe book. One of the things they tell you is to put the ice in first, and that helps um, keep everything moving. You know how sometimes the ice can kind of freeze up and stick to the top? If you put it in first, that doesn't happen. So let's do that. Let's add our ice first. And then I've got some other frozen ingredients in here, frozen strawberries, frozen spinach uh, that I have on hand. Next, you're going to add fresh ingredients, soft ingredients. Uh, if you had fresh spinach, you could add that. Or uh, spinach. When they say green smoothie, they mean spinach because other greens taste like greens. So I use spinach. Um, but today, I'm going to add an avocado for a little bit of healthy fat and a couple of fresh strawberries just to show you that you can add fresh berries or frozen. And I went ahead and tossed a little bit of stevia in there as well to give it a little kick of sweetness. And then we're going to end with... Um, this is half almond milk and half water. So we're just going to add liquid. That looks pretty good. All right. Put the lid on. Now, the question is how loud is this? Because you're talking about a major motor in this bud. So you're going to get to see how loud it is. Ready?
smoothie. Just go ahead and put it in here. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. And you know what? It's not even green. It's kind of a pretty pink. So, all right. And there's one other thing I wanted to show you today. You get a um, this cool jar is for things like peanut butter and um, hummus and things that are maybe a little thicker that you don't really want to pulverize. Um, this is a cool little jar. You can make smaller amounts in here. Um, not as great for liquids. I would not use this for liquids, but anything that's kind of a creamy or pasty consistency, guacamole, anything like that. All right, this, this just fits onto the base real neatly. And this lid is so cool. Can you see the little tines? It fits down inside the lid like this inside the jar and you can twist it as you go and sort of loosen up the, you know how peanut butter will kind of get cling to the sides um, on a food processor, which is what I was used to using. Doesn't happen with this because you just twist it around and it loosens it up. Also, this little cap pops off so you can add last minute items as well if you need to on this. So, pretty cool little bonus. Dip. Just wanted to illustrate uh, how much I'm enjoying my Blendtec blender, why I think it's such a great investment. Um, I did not get results like this from my other blender, and this is so neat. They give an eight-year warranty on the designer um, 625 and on all their other blenders as well. So, um, hope you enjoyed the presentation. I hope this helps you make a good decision. Um, I'm from glensnest.com, and I wanted to, um, I'm reviewing the Blendtec blender, and I thought it would be really helpful if you're considering one to see it in action and to see why I feel like it's a really good investment as a piece of kitchen equipment, more like um, a stove or um, I think of it more of a kitchen power tool than a regular you know, $30 blender. It does a completely different job. Um, I wanted to start out by showing you the uh, interactive keyboard, which is pretty cool. It's one of the things I love about the Blendtec. The whole blender is super sleek, so it's really easy to keep clean. There's no cracks and crevices, and the keypad, which I'll turn it on, make it a little easier for you to see. The keypad is super sleek. There's no buttons. 